Welcome, sweet friends. It's Ashley Clark with Earthkeeper Yoga, and I am here in my home studio once again in Birmingham, Alabama, and I welcome you to a gentle yoga practice. For today's class, I invite you to have a couple of blocks as well as your trusty blanket or beach towel, small pillow, whatever you have just to serve as a cushion for your knees. As a reminder, we will be doing a live chair yoga class on March 17th at noon. That's going to be a great class, shamrocks and salutations. You can join us. You can find out more by simply going to the Employee Assistance and Counseling Center's website. You'll find all of the information under the events tab. Hope you can join us. All right, grab what you need for today's class and I'll meet you right here on the mat. All right, sweet friends. So we're gonna start actually at the top of our mat standing. So go ahead and meet me there. Any props that you have, you can just move out of the way. You won't need those right away. And we're just gonna come stand and have our feet connected to the mat. You can bring those hands together in front of your heart. Take just a moment to rock back and forth on the feet. You can keep the eyes open here, just settling in. Maybe give yourself a nice big deep inhale through the nose, sigh it out through the mouth. And slowly start to bring yourself into some stillness here, being mindful not to lock the knees, finding some length through your spine, reaching the crown of your head away, and then feeling those shoulder blades come together just a little bit behind you so that the shoulders and the heart feel open. Hands stay together in prayer at the heart chin parallel with the shoulders. I invite you to go ahead and close your eyes or find a soft gaze to the floor, whichever you're more comfortable with, and allow yourself just to notice all of the sounds around you. Notice the temperature of the air on your skin. Notice your feet connected to your mat. How you feel stable and grounded right here. And go ahead and start to turn some of your awareness inward. Allowing yourself to just feel the air, the breath moving in and out of your body. The way your physical body opens and then kind of closes up on the exhale. You don't have to change anything about the depth or the quality of your breath, although you can notice it. And go ahead and allow your breath to deepen. So deepening those inhales, feeling everything open, ribs expand, heart lifts up. And exhale, letting it all go. And give yourself two more breaths just like that. After you finish that last exhale, go ahead and reconnect your awareness to your feet. Notice if you're kind of leaning forward, see if you can balance out the weight through both feet, front to back, lengthening through the crown of the head. And if you're feeling any awareness of, or discomfort in that low back, just go ahead and tuck the tailbone in just ever so slightly. Start to engage through the core, through the center of your body. See if that helps you feel more stable. Take an inhale, slowly start to flutter the eyes back open, and we'll open those arms where the uh, palms are facing forward. We're going to move really gently here to begin. So all we're going to do is take an inhale, let the arms and the gaze come up above your head. 
And exhale, bring the palms down in front of your heart, bow chin to chest. Inhale, rise up with the arms and the gaze. And exhale, keep the gaze forward as the palms come down either side of the hips, just like we started. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring those palms down in front of the heart, bow chin to chest. Inhale, rise up. Now exhale, hands come down next to the hips. Chin stays parallel to shoulders. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, palms and the chin in towards the chest. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, gaze forward, palms down by the hips. Let's do two more rounds just like that. Inhaling it up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, head forward, palms by the hips. Check that pelvis. See if you're feeling nice and strong through the back body. Inhale, last round. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, gaze back forward, palms down next to your hips. Bring the palms back together in front of you. Bow chin to chest. Connect with those feet as they connect with your mat. Coming back to the breath. And we'll continue from here. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, big bend in the knees, fold forward. Inhale, down low. Exhale, slow rise. Mountain, just like we started that last round. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, palms down in front of the heart, bow chin to chest. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend in the knees, protecting the low back. Two more rounds, just like that. Inhaling down low. And exhaling to rise. Palms near the hips. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale in front of the heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink low. Inhale here. Exhale, slow rise. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring it into the heart. Inhale, rise up. And we'll exhale to forward fold. So keeping a bend in those knees, we're just going to sway side to side. Let the head hang heavy. Let the back round, shoulders fold towards the floor. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing right there at the brow bone. Just giving yourself two more breaths to sway side to side here. And allowing yourself to sway back into stillness. We'll take an inhale here and go ahead and step that left leg long down your mat. Lower that left knee. Lower the top of the left foot. And we're going to take an inhale to rise up. Palms come up towards the sky. And then you're going to make sure that that right ankle is right under the right knee. Press that left knee into the floor. Tuck the tailbone in to engage through the center of your body. There's a stretch through that left front of the quad. We're going to inhale, arch the back, send the gaze up. And exhale, bring the pelvis back, the spine back long. Two more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, back to neutral. Release where you can. Last one. Inhale, open up. Exhale, back to neutral. We'll bring those hands down next to the hips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring it down in front of your heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come down, folding forward over that right leg. Curl those left toes. We're going to lift the hips and come back to the top of the mat. Give yourself a breath. 
Inhale, step that right leg long down the mat. Low lunge and then lowering that right knee. If you need that blanket under your knees or that small pillow, go ahead and keep that there. We'll be moving back and forth from side to side. It'll be helpful. Inhale, rise up. Knee is over ankle, pressing into that right knee, engaging through the core, through the center of your body, little stretch right there through the right quad. We'll bring those hands down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Curl right toes, top of the mat. Give yourself a breath. Step the left leg back. Lower the left knee. Inhale, rise up. Check all the things. Exhale, the hands down. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, bring it down in front of your heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Curl left toes, top of the mat. Forward fold, here's our breath. Inhale, right leg steps long. Knee lowers down, top of the foot lowers down. And inhale to rise. Exhale to lower the arms. Here we go, inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring it down in front of the heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Curl right toes, top of the mat, forward fold. We'll take an inhale halfway, find that long spine, reach the crown away. And exhale to lower back down towards your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, slow rise. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, bring it down in front of your heart, bow chin to chest. And give yourself two breaths right here. Just feeling in, finding the connection with your feet to the mat. Reconnecting to the breath. We'll take an inhale, let the arms and the gaze rise. And then we'll exhale to forward fold. Step your left foot back, lower the left knee, lower the left top of the foot. And then as you send the hips back, bring that right knee back to meet the left, bring the wrists under the shoulders. Here we are in our table. So we'll move through some cat cow here. So we'll take an inhale, reach crown and tailbone up. Reach that belly button towards your mat, exhale, round it in. Reach the belly button towards your back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink it in. Two more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, round. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, round it in. Coming back to your neutral spine. Beautiful. So we're going to wag the hips side to side. Relax through the jaw. Notice any tension building right up here in the upper arms. See if you can get a little flow going where you can keep a little relaxation through the arms. Maybe a little spring through the elbows. Just swaying side to side here. And coming back into stillness, take an inhale, and then exhale, send those hips back, bring yourself into a child's pose, let everything roll down towards your mat, find the connection, notice all the connection points, maybe the brow lowers, or maybe the brow comes to the blanket or a block, if it can't make it all the way to the mat, maybe even send the arms long next to the legs, see how much of the arms can come in contact with your mat.
and give it one more breath. Take an inhale, slowly starting to rise up. We're going to come sit on hips, on heels. Now, if that's too much, that's what these great blocks are for. You can stack the blocks and even send them so that you're raised up just a little bit. You don't have to, but we've got hips over heels. We're going to let the hands just rest lightly on the tops of the thighs, and we're going to move through a few more rounds of cat-cow. So we'll inhale, send the crown and the tailbone back, opening through the heart. Exhale, round it all in. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, round it in. Last one, inhale, round it out. And exhale, round it in. Coming back to that neutral spine, we're going to leave the hands down next to the hips. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, bring it in towards the heart. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, down by the hips. Gaze goes forward. Inhale, one more round, just like that. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, down in front of the heart. Inhale, rise up. Now exhale, palms down next to the legs. Let's put a little gentle twist in here. So bring those arms out into a T and then flex the palms by sending them away. You'll get a stretch through the forearms. It'll feel really nice. Take an inhale here and then exhale. Just twist over. Let that left hand go back behind you with the palm still raised. Right palm comes down to that left leg. So you're getting a great stretch through that left shoulder, through that left side body. One more round. Inhale, lift that right arm. Flex through that palm and then exhale, bring the palms back to that T on either side, arms long in front. Check the tailbone, see if you're curling it out. See if you can tuck it in just a little bit. We'll take an inhale and then we'll exhale over to the right left palm comes down to the right knee right hand reaches behind you almost as if you're saying stop gaze does not have to follow we're just feeling into that right shoulder right side body inhale in your twist bringing that left arm back up and exhale back to that t beautiful lower the arm shake it out All right, we're going to come back to table. If you put blocks at the back of your mat, let's move them up and set them at the top of your mat. And I've got mine on the what I call the medium setting. So this would be low. This is medium. And this is tall, just like cups of coffee. All right, so we've got those set up. We'll come back to our table. Take an inhale. And then exhale. Let's move into a down dog. And let's spend a few breaths here, just moving, connecting that movement to our breath. Give it two more. And send those hips back. Find a moment of stillness right here. Notice the connection points to your mat. We'll take an inhale and come back to that table. And then bring those hands to the blocks. Move the blocks just a little bit closer as if they're just an extension of your hands. We'll step this left leg through so that we have the knee right over the ankle. And then we're just going to start to rise up. So take an inhale, reach up with the hands. And then exhale, fold forward, hands come back to the block. See if you can scoot your left 
foot forward so that you can find the heel of the left foot. And maybe even bring these blocks to the tallest setting. We're about to stretch through that left hamstring. Check this right leg. Make sure you're not dumping all that weight. I am, so you can watch how I change that. Pressing in, lifting up through the spine, finding that length, reaching the crown of the tailbone <clears throat> in. Well, the tailbone comes in, but the crown of the head reaches away, and then the chin is parallel with the shoulders. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, keeping that long spine. Just start to reach forward. Notice any tension building. But also noticing the connection points here with your mat. Feeling grounded, feeling stable. And give it one more breath. Beautiful. So release through the upper body, release that tension, and then bring that left foot back all the way to the mat. Walk your blocks forward. Maybe you come to meeting, medium setting. We'll take an inhale and start to scoot the hips forward, lunging into that left leg, reach through the crown of the head. So there's a little stretch through that left calf. Stretch through the left groin. We're moving nice and slow today. And give it one more breath. And we'll take an inhale, send the hips back. Let that left knee come back to meet the right and then reset those blocks right under the shoulders. You've just got a tall table here. All right, next thing we're gonna do is step this right foot forward. And then we're gonna rise all the way up. So inhale, let the arms come up, and then exhale to fold back forward. We'll scoot this right foot forward, finding the right heel, and then you can lift those blocks back up to the tallest setting. We've got to check this left knee, so we don't want to dump all that weight in there. So we're going to press into it, engage through the pelvis, reach through the crown of the head, take an inhale, and then exhale, reach the crown of the head away getting a stretch through that right hamstring. Breathing in and out. Take an inhale. Relax the body and slowly bring that right foot back to the mat. And then you're going to walk these blocks forward, maybe bring them to the medium setting. If you need to keep them on the tall setting, all good to do that. Inhale, and then exhale to lunge forward, finding that stretch through the calf on the right side, groin on the left side, reach the crown of the head away. Chin, once again, parallel to the shoulders. Last breath. Take an inhale. And then exhale, send those hips back. Right knee comes back to meet the left. Keep those blocks right where they are. You're going to come down and see if you can get your hands, your elbows at the top of either block. Bring those palms together in prayer. Take an inhale. And then exhale, slowly start to send the hips back as the head lowers down in between the hands, between the blocks. Nice, big, deep stretch through the inside of the arms. Shoulder blades are really together. Breathing in and out. Notice what begins to feel open for you here. And we'll take an inhale and exhale, press into those elbows, maybe come to forearms and then back to hands. That's the most graceful I've ever done that. You can move the blocks out of the way. All right, palms come under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's take an inhale to lift those hips once again and make our way into down dog.
Give it one more breath. Let's go ahead and walk hands and feet up towards the top of the mat and we'll meet there together in a forward fold. Set up your blocks under your hands. Put them on the tallest setting. Let's inhale halfway, keep the hands on the blocks. Reach the crown of the head away. You could do this in any class. One more breath. Inhale here. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale down low. Exhale, slow rise. And coming into your standing mountain. Checking the connection of the feet to your mat. We'll take an inhale, let the arms and gaze rise. Exhale, palms come down in front of the heart, bow chin to chest. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, go ahead and fold forward. Find your hands on your blocks and you're going to step your left leg back just a bit. Most important thing here is to note that the hips are square. So first I'm going to actually walk my blocks back where the palms are still under my shoulders. And then I'm going to come to this awareness to this right hip. So I want it in line with my left. So I'm going to send it back. That's going to already start to deepen that stretch through that left leg. And having these hands on the blocks may be all you want. You might not want to fold forward any more than that. If this is too much, let's do the same thing we did last time, which was just to lower that left knee. So here we are, we're going to reach through the crown of the head, chin parallel with shoulders, take an inhale, and then exhale, fold forward if you wish, letting the head come where it's hanging heavy. So we've hinged at the hips. We'll give it one more breath. Take an inhale, lift through the crown of the head so you're at that halfway mark, and then bend this right knee. Walk your blocks forward just a little bit, and you're going to bring your weight off that left foot onto this right leg, keeping a bend in the knee, and we're just going to tap this left knee behind the right. Send the leg long. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, tap behind. Exhale to extend. Inhale to bring it behind. Exhale to extend all the weight on the right foot. Inhale, lift up this left leg towards the sky for standing splits. Head hangs heavy towards the floor. Gaze towards that right knee. Inhale, lower this left foot down next to the right. And we're back in that fold forward. Let's inhale halfway with our hands on the blocks. And exhale to release back down towards your mat. Hands on the off the blocks here. Inhale. And exhale, slow rise, coming into your mountain, resetting your body, resetting the breath. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. And exhale, everything comes in front of the heart. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, fold forward. We'll step the right leg back. Hands are on the blocks. And then we're going to bring those hands and those blocks back more in line with our shoulders. Reach through the crown of the head. This may be it. This might be all you're going to do right here. We're going to square that left hip with the right. And if you want a little bit more, take an inhale. And then exhale to fold forward. And gaze towards that left knee, hip square. Inhale, rising up halfway. Crown reach, reaches away, and then we bend this left knee. We'll bring the blocks forward just a little bit. Taking the weight out of that right leg. Inhale, right knee taps behind left. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, it taps. 
Exhale to extend. Last one. Inhale to tap. Exhale to extend. And then we'll inhale, sending this right leg up towards the sky for standing splits. Hands on the blocks or on the floor, depending on what makes you feel more stable because we're down to just a couple of places that we're touching the earth. Making sure that left knee is not locked. Head hangs heavy, gaze towards the knee. Beautiful, slowly lower this right foot down next to your left. And we're back in that forward fold with hands on the blocks. Let's inhale halfway long spine. Exhale, slow release back down towards your mat. Inhale here. And then exhale, we'll find a slow rise back up towards standing. We'll be in mountain, center the body, center the breath. Inhale here, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, bringing it all down in front of your heart. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. And exhale to forward fold. All right. So you're going to keep your hands on the blocks and you're going to step that left leg long down the mat. Once again, keep the legs somewhat straight and square those hips. You can walk both hands back on the block, back on the block once again. And you're going to leave your left hand right under the left shoulder. Put just a little softness through that right knee. And we're going to take an inhale and reach this right arm up towards the sky. We're in revolved triangle. Give it two breaths. Relax the jaw and the neck. Slowly reach that right hand back down for the block. Bring your body weight to that right foot and we'll walk back. Here we are in that forward fold. Let's inhale halfway, hands on blocks. Exhale to release. Inhale down low. Exhale, slow rise. We'll meet in that mountain. And find the connection to the mat, to your breath. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, bring it into the heart. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. And exhale to forward fold. Hands come back to the blocks. We'll step the right foot back, long down the mat. And then we're going to walk this right block in front or inside of that left foot. Square the hips, take an inhale, and lift that left arm up towards the sky. We're in revolved triangle. Two breaths. And take an inhale. Lower your left hand down to your block. Move your right block forward and then find awareness into that right foot. We'll come back to the top of the mat. We'll meet in a forward fold. Hands on the blocks. Let's inhale halfway, long spine. Exhale to release down towards the floor. Hands come off the blocks. Inhale here. Exhale, slow rise. And centering the body, centering the breath. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. And exhale, hands come down in front of the heart, bow chin to chest. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. And exhale, this time bring the chin parallel to the shoulders, bring the palms now down next to the hips, open through the shoulder, shoulder blades come together, mountain pose. Beautiful. From here, I want you to find some awareness in that left foot connected to the mat. Keep the heart and the shoulders, so shoulders together, heart open. And then find a soft focal point that you can focus on. 
All right, we're gonna take an inhale and move awareness over to the left side of the body. And we're gonna take a fresh breath and reach this right knee up towards the navel and then exhale to step it long. So keep a bend in that left knee, palms face forward. You're gonna press into this left foot to keep the legs straight. And then inhale to send the arms and the gaze up. Exhale, bring it down in front of your heart. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, forward fold. Hands can come to the blocks or you can come all the way back down. We're back in pyramid pose. Square those hips. Let it all go. Bend that left knee, take an inhale. And then exhale, let's rise all the way up. Hands come next to the hips, inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring hands and heart down in front of, or bring your hands in front of your heart. Inhale, rise up. Hold it here. Gaze goes up towards the sky. And exhale, palms come down next to the hips. Energy in that right foot, you're just going to kind of peel yourself back from the back of the mat and bring yourself back up. Here we are, mountain pose. Give yourself a breath. Take an inhale. Find awareness on the right side of your body. Reach up through the crown of the head. Fresh inhale. Knee lifts towards the navel. And then exhale to step it back. Right knee is bent. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, bring it down in front of your heart. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, straighten through that right leg. Forward fold. You're back in your pyramid. Square the hips. Find the long spine. Use the blocks. Let everything go. Bend that right knee, take an inhale. Exhale, come, backing up, come back up. Those palms are on neither side of the hips. We'll take a fresh inhale, reach arms and gaze up. Exhale, bring it in in front of your heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, palms down next to the hips. We'll slowly peel that left foot off of the mat and come back to the top. Mountain pose, one breath. Correct any connection of your feet to the mat, really feeling strong and stable there. Softness through the knees, ripple up through the spine. We'll take an inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, bring it down in front of your heart. Inhale, rise up. And exhale to find a forward fold. And take your blocks. And move them where they're more towards the center of your mat. So just as far as you can reach from the standing posture. And then meet me back in that forward fold. Take an inhale. Step the right leg long down your mat. And then the left. Go ahead and lower the knees. Sit it back. Find a brief child's pose. Maybe even send those arms long down your mat. Finding as many places as you can on your body to connect to the earth. And rest in. One more breath. Bring your hands back forward and you're going to press your upper body up. Find those blocks and sink them in between the legs if you chose to sit on the blocks. Keep the knees close to one another if you can, and then tuck that tailbone in so you can really lengthen through the crown of your head. We'll bring the palms to either side of the hips. Take an inhale, rise up. Exhale, come in front of the heart. 
Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, bring those hands down next to the hips. We'll bring them back into that T. Send the palms away so you feel that stretch through the forearms. Reach the crown of the head up. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, we'll do that twist again. So twisting over to the left. Right palm comes down to that left knee. Left fingertips behind. See if there's more for you here than last time. Inhale, lifting that right hand out in front, and then exhale to come out of the twist. Take an inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, bring it all down in front of your heart. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale, lower down, palms come down next to the hips, chin parallel with shoulders. Inhale, here we go, palms come out flashing away like jazz hands take an inhale and then exhale to find your twist over to the right let that left hand come down to the right knee there's engagement all through that right arm one more breath inhale left arm lifts exhale back to center inhale arms and gaze rise exhale bring it all in and give yourself an extra breath right here. Take an inhale, arms and gaze lift. And then exhale, go ahead and come back to table. Move those blocks out of the way. You're going to need one block for this next thing. So you can move the, opposite, the other one out of the way. And you're just going to come down onto your seat. And once you get onto your seat, I invite you to go ahead and roll down onto your back. Keep the knees bent. Bring the knees up in towards the chest. Maybe circle the ankles. Notice how much of your back is connected to your mat. And if you can spread your shoulders a little bit wider, great. Can you keep the chin parallel with the shoulders even here? All right, we're gonna lower the feet down to the mat and the feet are under the knees. So that means that the feet are a little bit closer than we normally do. If that's too much, that's fine. Just shimmy the feet forward just a little bit. Reach your right or reach whatever hand you have down to find that block. And then the opposite palm is gonna come to the mat. Take an inhale, press into the feet just enough to lift the pelvis off the floor and then take that block and let it come to that little triangle point at the base of your spine, the sacrum, and then slowly start to lower your body weight back onto it. Notice how the hips start to open. Press into the back of your head to lift up just a little bit and then exhale back down so those shoulders can really spread. Feet can shimmy apart from one another, and then the knees fall in towards one another. So this is a restorative hip opener. We're done with any real movement here. We have less connection points to the mat, but we still feel supported with that block under the sacrum. Find your breath. One more. After you release that breath fully, start to shimmy those heels under the knees. Opposite palm comes down to the floor. Inhale, lifting up, pressing into the feet just enough to move that block out of the way. Check the position of your chin. And then we're gonna bring this right knee up towards the chest and then take the right knee out to the right. You're gonna see if you can hold your leg if it looks as if it looked like a baby. 
So I'm gonna wrap my left hand around my right ankle and I'm gonna bring my right elbow outside of my right knee. If it feels okay in your body, extend that left leg long. This may be all you want. So we're gonna do something called rocking the baby. So we're gonna inhale, send the right knee out to the right and then exhale to bring the right knee in towards center. Inhaling to open, exhaling to close. Feeling completely supported by the mat. Just notice what's opening and closing for you here. Notice where any tension may live. And as silly as it sounds, just the position of the chin can determine how much stress and tension is still being held in your jaw and in your neck. So make sure that the chin is parallel to the shoulders. The crown is reaching towards the back of your mat. This is our last round. Slowly release that right leg all the way up towards the sky. And then go ahead and bend that right knee. Right sole of the foot comes to the mat. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll bring that left knee up and outside of the ribs. Right hand comes down to the left ankle. We'll check the position of the crown of the head. And then once we feel stable here, we'll start to send that right leg long if we can. If we can, it's fine. Let everything release into the mat. We'll inhale to open the leg up. Knee goes away. And then exhale, knee comes in. Continuing to move just like this. Last two breaths. Go ahead and release that leg, send it all the way up towards the sky, and then bend that left knee, left sole, the foot comes to the mat. You can raise this right knee back up to meet the left and then shimmy the feet to the outside edges of your mat. We'll bring the arms into a T. Take an inhale and then exhale, let those knees fall over to the right. If this is too much pressure on that left knee, then just bring it where it can stack with the right knee. But if you can keep them apart, great. Maybe the nose turns towards the left shoulder. Notice what feels supported here for you. And give it one more breath. Inhale, bring knees and nose back towards the ceiling. And then we'll take a fresh breath. And then exhale, knees fall over to the left. Making the adjustments that you need to here so that you feel stable and supported. And then maybe the nose goes over towards that right hand. Notice the support you feel beneath you. And give it two more breaths.
slowly bring nose and knees back up towards the sky. And then you're going to take your arms and just wrap them like you're giving yourself a nice big bear hug. So you can reach those fingertips towards each opposite shoulder blade. Just squeeze it all in. And after you exhale that last breath, go ahead and give yourself anything that I didn't offer that may feel good in your physical body right here. We'll move into Shavasana in just a moment. But make sure that you've taken what you need. When you're ready, go ahead and make your way into whatever Shavasana will be for you today. You can simply lie on your mat, close your eyes for just a moment or two. And allow yourself a nice big inhale through the nose. You can sigh it out audibly through your mouth. And rest. You can slowly start to bring some awareness back into this space that we have created together. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up over your head. Give yourself a full body stretch, reaching the fingertips and pointing the toes. Allow yourself just another moment to roll on to your favorite side. Bringing the knees up near your chest. Continuing to feel the mat supporting you right here. And as you're ready, you can slowly start to make your way back up into a comfortable seat. We'll meet there together with hands at our hearts. So throughout today's practice, I've tried to mindfully offer you the opportunity to notice when you felt supported. I encourage you to find the smallest of moments throughout your day just to mindfully remind yourself that you are fully supported. Our quote today is from Danielle Laporte, and she writes, release your grip on finding answers. 
so that wisdom can pour through. May wisdom pour through. May you know kindness and may you be kind. And until we meet together again, gratitude for practicing with me today. Namaste.